In this video, I'm going to show you the various components that make up the fuel gauge system for a Super Beetle uh, tank. First up, we're going to talk about the sending unit itself. Here is an empty sending unit. Each of the sending units look a little bit alike. This one's been modified, bent to work in a Super Beetle tank. The way it functions is the short arm float is what controls reading the fuel level up and down. The top is about 11 ohms and all the way down is close to 70. The long arm is what takes over somewhere around a half a tank of fuel and then it begins to control the level of the short arm like this. You can see it moving up and down. Once it gets above that, then uh, above half a tank, then the short arm goes on up. The long arm will hit the top of the tank quite early, as you can see the, the plane that it's on there. Uh, right about there, uh, it can't go any higher because the top of the tank is right across there. So then the short arm is riding between there and there during that first half a tank that you use. Internally, there is a, a resistor that's wire wound. We call it a rheostat. And that's what transfers the, the resistance that tells the, the fuel gauge uh, where the position is of the short arm. And that concludes talking about the sender. Next we're talking about the fuel gauge. There are two types of fuel gauges and you cannot tell the difference between uh, when they're aftermarket between a, uh, a low resistance and a high resistance uh, fuel gauge. Uh, I'll make a correction there that all the aftermarket fuel gauges are going to be what we call uh, 30 to 34 ohms. And that is determined by the resistance of this wire wound uh, heat strip element here that's nichrome wire and as it gets hot then it bends the bimetal and that's what moves the gauge. The calibration for this is ta takes place up here at the top not down here at the bottom. A lot of guys go down here and screw with that and that's wrong. Got to do it from up here and it's a very sensitive adjustment. Just a little bit of a turn makes it move a lot. So use caution when you do that adjustment. It's right there at the top, not the bottom one. Okay. What it looks like you got to take the back plastic off and we make a hole in the plastic so that we can get at the adjustment. That concludes talking about the gauge. Okay, the last piece that we're going to talk about here is the actual vibrator. And uh, there's a lot of misnomer going on uh, on the forums that this is a vibrator, these metal ones. And the plastic ones are really, really a regulator. How the uh, vibrator works is kind of interesting. It has a wire wound element right there. And that gets heated up with the current running through it. And it will actually bend the bimetal and open and close the contacts right there. And it does it fairly quickly, three or four times a second. And uh, the average is about 5.1 volts. And uh, that's what it looks like in its container. Whoop, right there, the two contacts self. The regulator type has an internal zener diode that does the controlling. Sometimes there will be a light bulb inside. Other times there will be a, a big resistor that's called a load device or a load component. And so uh, it, when you order one from any of the vendors, you're going to get 5.1 volts. 
and the 5.1 volts has to go with the old style original fuel gauge, which is uh, going to be about 18 ohms. If you use this, the uh, uh, the new OEM, a non-OEM fuel gauge, and this 5.1 uh, volt aftermarket regulator, or even the vibrator, you're only going to see about a half to three quarters of a tank. And we're working on that issue right now. And uh, hopefully we'll have a solution to it that will be easy for all you guys out there. Okay? So that concludes a little synopsis on the operation of, of the fuel gauge system for a Super Beetle. I will add that the only real difference between a standard Beetle and a Super Beetle is the sending unit itself. The gauge, the vibrator, and all the issues I just talked about will be the same with the uh, standard Beetle although you won't have to adjust the sending unit for a standard beetle. And that concludes this video.